we've painted uh, a lot of the large areas by using a wash. That means you got the paper really wet and you put the pigment right onto it. So it's called a wet and wet technique. Um, and when you do large areas, it's called a wash. So now it's time to add some details in. We've got two brushes and they're both watercolor brushes. They have this real soft hair. And now we wanna keep that paper dry and we can come in and start to add in some other things. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my brush wet here with this water cup. And I want to um, continue to put some of these shoelaces on here. So I'll just get a little bit of pigment here on my paintbrush. I'm gonna kind of test it out on my paper towel up here. Looks like we've got enough. And then I can slowly put that in there. And the reason why you wanna have your paper dry this time is because we wanna have a lot more control over what we are painting. So I can go right over top of that. And the great thing about watercolors is they are uh, translucent. So you can see the color come through underneath if you don't really hammer in that water. Now I kind of forgot to put a shoelace here, or at least it faded in my sketch. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that down here. I thought that might be an interesting thing to have come out of the shoe and then down the mountain. rinse my brush out. I'm also going to come over here and add some more of these trees and I did this before we started our video but it's a real simple way. I might even just take my big brush to get that pigment all ready to go. Get some brown here. <clears throat> so I can just tap my brush on there and just it just soaks up that pigment. So I can just put some trees on there. Color looks a little intense, so I'm just gonna kinda mop up some of that paint there, put it there. I'm just kinda putting the tops of trees on there. And it doesn't have to be super detailed because these trees are far away. So I don't have to draw the vein of every leaf in there. But just enough to, to kinda suggest that there's a little forest growing here on the side of the mountain. And so for some of these mountains back here that I know have some trees, they're just going to be little dots because they're even farther away. <clears throat> 